Uh, and I've just wrapped up publishing this three video series interviewing Azar Hussein of Hanha, the company that creates Simbisa, this cool thing. Um, if you haven't heard of it, you should go watch the videos now. It's basically a bundle of sensors in a cool package that talks to a secure cellular network uh, that you can use to track stuff all around the world. It can go for two months on a single battery charge and it can mail itself back, which is amazing. Um, I just, actually the one that we published today is a security spotlight. Uh, and during the course of that, you can find all the videos here actually, hackster.io slash videos. Um, but during the course of this video, <laughs> um, I think you said something about a leaky, like a, how your coffee machine could be connected to the internet and leaking your Wi-Fi info. Uh, and that's obviously a security risk with IoT. Uh, and I made a dumb joke about ah, ha, ha, leaking because it's a coffee pot, but that led into this little rabbit hole about the uh, RFC 2324 coffee pot, hypertext coffee pot control protocol, the HTCPCP 1.0, which was published in 1998 um, by the IETF. And it... Uh, introduces this HTTP response code that you might not have heard of, which is 418 I'm a teapot. So any attempt to brew coffee with an internet connected teapot should result in the error code 418 I'm a teapot. The resulting entity body may be short and stout. Ugh! It's so good. Um, if you haven't seen this before, it was published, of course, on April 1st, and uh, you can read the entire thing. Like, look at how long this is. <laughs> complete with copyright statement. Amazing! Uh, and it's got its own whole Wikipedia page as well, uh, including implementation examples. Look at this! Look at that! Look at this as well! <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, so, RFC 2324 was written by Larry Messenger who describes it as a satire, saying this has a serious purpose. It identifies many of the ways in which HTTP has been extended inappropriately. <gasps> the wording of the protocol made it clear that it was not entirely serious. For example, it notes that there is a strong, dark, dark rich requirement for a protocol designed expressly for the brewing of coffee. Uh, yeah, so if you're not familiar with this before, you might want to add a 418 response to your website just in case it is running off a teapot, which could be a deal. Um, and this becomes kind of relevant because, uh, well, it's what the Wednesday for one thing. It's technically Tuesday now, but you'll watch this on Wednesday when I'm aware at Risk 5. And if you search for coffee projects on the internet, like a smart coffee machine is often one of the first things that people make because they want to wake up to hot coffee and wake up in the morning. So if you look for coffee on Hackster, you will get 173 results. Uh, and I'm sure that's not even getting most of them, to be honest. Uh, I included it in my list of the 10 most common hardware hackathon projects back in almost exactly two years ago. Whoa! Yeah, anyway, it's true, like, uh, I think it might be the, no, it's the th one, two, three, there's she right there, <laughs> four, five, six, number six uh, on the list. Um, there's also more that are not on this list, but if you're curious, um, check out some of the other weird projects that are not super common that I put in this blog post. Um, they're also, however, great places for you to start if you're just getting out, uh, started out making because there's a bajillion tutorials and probably if you want to learn a new platform, someone has done a smart coffee machine on that platform combination, so go check it out. Um, of course, go watch our videos about Simbisa. Uh, this is, it's on hackster.io slash henha if you want to go look for upcoming projects people are going to be posting. Uh, be sure to check out hackster.io slash videos. Uh, the next series that you're going to get tired of is our awesome ARM Innovator series. We've got some sweet new videos from ARM TechCon that I'm finally getting around to editing. <laughs> and um, really excited to publish those as we ramp up to ARM Dev Day, which is January 22nd. Be sure to register for that. Uh, what's the address for that? Dev Day. Events.hackster.io slash ARM Dev Day. Um, and check out 
henha.com slash product slash Symbisa if you want to learn more about this cool little device. Maybe you should make it do coffee. We should do a coffee machine based on, oh man, it's been done. But it can always be done again um, with your own little personal spin on it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you soon. Uh, stay tuned for stuff from Risk Five, and we'll see you soon. Ciao.